I said earlier in the conversation that um, we always, as an institution, felt we could blend aspects of the university from public policy to engineering, communications, transportation, logistics, in ways where the synergy of those disciplines and professions could come together to be much more powerful than just having people do things in isolation and let others try to figure it out. And also there's an inherent spirit of this place where we very much want to work with individuals, you all, uh, to, to create together the agenda we need to work on. We believe we have expertise and knowledge, obviously, because everything is about cutting edge knowledge and being world class in what you do. And that's the coin of the realm, particularly in the 21st century. But it's shaping those questions together. I think this conference really reflects that partnership, that history over a very long period of time, and it's just very exciting. The other thing I will say is that Governor Blanchard, as Ambassador Blanchard, really opened a set of doors for us uh, in ways that helped us make connections so that it wasn't simply about food and fiber, it was about the full range of the, of the talents of the university. And without that nudging and encouragement and advice over uh, a long period of time, I know my presidency wouldn't be as good as he described it, even if it were as good as he described it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and we've just been enriched by, by his, his work, as well as many, many of you on the advisory committee. So this is a personal thank you to you. I'm sorry I've got a sort of a Chinese delegation here as well today uh, on food and fiber, and we've been showing them around Michigan State. And, and we're going to go have dinner on a farm in a few minutes uh, to cement this relationship, as only a land grant university will do uh, from, the, from the grassroots up. But there are just enormous opportunities uh, with Canada, with both the sort of logistics, all of this. And if I think about a world that we would all want to help create for your great grandchildren, and the people who will be at Michigan State in the years ahead. It's the kind of world that you've talked about today. And if we can just play a small part in helping to make that happen together, this institution will be very proud of our relationship. So thanks very much. Thank you, Thank you for joining us for the CN reception. And you heard earlier uh, comments from Governor Blanchard. I also wanted to welcome Janet Blanchard. And, and uh, Dan Lynch, who is here from Dalhousie University. We have a partnership going on with Dalhousie and Michigan State University that's looking at the very issues that we're going to be talking about this evening and then later on uh, tomorrow down at the Anderson House building. So uh, Dan from Dalhousie, thank you for joining us. He, he, as I mentioned earlier, he always gets the prize for traveling the furthest. <laughs> and we're glad you do. Um, in June, we'll be traveling to Halifax, Nova Scotia, where Dalhousie is, University is located. And we'll be holding a, a meeting, more a conference, but more like a meeting on global transportation and trade. Um, many of you are going to be joining us. Uh, many of you don't know it yet, but you will be joining us. <laughs> <laughs> But also, we'd love um, to have you guys <laughs> June 19th through the 21st in lovely Halifax. We promise it won't rain snow. too much. No, it won't snow. It won't snow. Oh, a little snow. Oh, a little snow. <laughs> but it'll probably rain. Well, just like home, we have quite a bit in common with uh, Halifax. So. I want to introduce to you uh, Mr. Amgad Chihada. He wants to keep it low key. I won't go through the whole long list of accomplishments, but he is the Vice President for Strategic Development and Public Affairs for the United Parcel Service, or as we know it, UPS. Um, he's just a real treasure that I found in this conversation, and he was so willing and gracious to, to come to Michigan State and talk with us uh, about a number of things. But one thing that's important to note is that UPS is on the advisory council to President Obama uh, for ways to reach or uh, strategies for reaching the goal of doubling our exports to Canada or outside of the US, obviously, by 2015. And so um, I think if he has some good advice for President Obama, he might have some advice for the state of Michigan. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> You're doing well there till the end. 
this treasure might be buried, <laughs> President Obama. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I like to tell you I started out as a driver. So uh, they've taken me out of the shorts, and I'm in a suit now. So this is not what I normally do. 23 years ago, I left college and started at UPS and have been uh, working through the rungs and learning. And uh, so when I thought about what can I do here today to this esteemed audience of learners, um, the best thing that I thought I could do is go to that big oracle in the sky called YouTube. <laughs> so I went to YouTube and a fellow professor, along with perhaps some of you, produced this video I'd like you to see. It's about five minutes and then we could talk about it a little bit. 